In this tutorial, we're going to create a clean and simple logo animation in After Effects without using any plugins. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, do not forget to leave a like, that really helps out the channel. So without further ado, let's jump to the tutorial. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to name it Render 1920 by 1080 10 seconds for the duration. Then drag your logo to the timeline, press S and adjust the scale if you need that. I'm going to set mine to 70, then pre-compose a logo by right click, pre-compose, I'm going to name it logo, make sure that move all attributes is selected, click OK. And let's pre-compose a logo once again, so right click, pre-compose, and let's call this Vegas, and go to effects and presets and search for Vegas effect, add it to the composition. Straight away let's set the blend mode to transparent, and depending on the colors of your logo, this might happen to it. To fix it, we go to image contours, and decrease the threshold until we can see the entire logo. So let's close this up and continue with the rest. Set segments to 2, width to 4, start opacity to 0, and end opacity to 1. And for the color, I'm going for a light gray. Then make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline and create keyframes for length, rotation, and start opacity. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. Set length to 0, then move 2 seconds forward. Set length to 1, rotation to 100, and start opacity to 1. Then drag and select all the keyframes, right click any of them, keyframe assistant easy ease, so press F9 to easy ease them, and that will smoothen out the animation. Now before we proceed, let's add the background, go to layer, new solid, so let's name this BG, and for the color I'm going for pure white, click OK, and drag this below the Vegas composition. Now select the Vegas composition itself, go to edit, duplicate, or press Ctrl D as a shortcut. I'll duplicate the composition. Let's rename the bottom one to Shadow. Then go to Effects and Presets and search for CC Radial Fast Blur. Add it to the Shadow composition. Set amount to 60. Zoom to brightest. Then grab the center point and place it like shown. And all you have to do at this point is to change the color of the Vegas to really dark gray, almost black. And you can see that gives us really nice and soft shadows on the logo. Now open the project tab and drag the logo composition to the timeline above other layers. And let's move this logo composition to 1 second 20 frames. Just place the playhead at 1 second 20 frames and then offset the logo to that point. Then select logo and Vegas compositions and press T for opacity. Create keyframes for both. Set logo's opacity to 0%. From here move 15 frames forward so that would be 2 seconds five frames. Set Logos Opacity to 100% and Vegas Opacity to 0%. Then drag and select the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now let's go to the effects and presets and search for CC Light Sweep. Add it to the logo composition. Let's move the player to two seconds. In effect control, set direction to zero degrees, shape to smooth, sweep intensity to 50 and edge intensity to 100. Also, for the color, I'm going for something like a silver, so it would be like a light gray. So while you are at 2 seconds, let's create a keyframe for center. And you can see this point here, while you drag it around, you can control the center point. So let's move this to the left of our logo, to the point that we do not see it. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. Let's move 1 second forward to 3 seconds, and simply drag the center point to the right side of the logo. Then drag and select the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Now let's create a null object by going to layer, new null object. And I'm going to parent every layer except the background. So logo, Vegas and shadow compositions to the null by dragging the pick whip and dropping it onto the null. And select the null and press S to bring up scale. Go to the beginning of the timeline. Create a keyframe for scale and set it to 50%. Then let's go to 1 second 15 frames. Let's increase the scale to 140%. Move to 3 seconds 15 frames and set it to 100. Then drag and select the keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor. Right click and make sure you're working at edit speed graph. Then select the first point to the left. Drag its handle to the left. The second handle also drag it to the left. And the last keyframes handle also all the way to the left. So your graph should look like this. And this is what we've made so far. Let's go ahead and add some text by selecting the uh, type tool and typing whatever you want, so I'm going to type apple.com and quickly resize and reposition the text. Make sure you are at 3 seconds 15 frames while positioning the text. Now select the text, press T for opacity, hold shift and press P to bring up position. Now create keyframes for position and opacity. Move back 1 second to 2 seconds 15 frames. Simply increase the Y position a bit to bring the text down and set opacity to 0%. Then drag and select the keyframes, press F9. Go to the graph editor, select the point to the right and drag its handle all the way to the left. 
Now all there is left is to properly adjust the timing. For that we're going to move to 1 second 25 frames and move these keyframes to that point. And this should give you the perfect timing for the animations to come together. Alright, let's wrap this up by adding particles. Let's go to layer, new solid. I'm going to name this particles and place it below every layer except the background. Then go to effects and presets and search for particle world. Add it to the particle solid layer. Let's set birth rate to 0.1, longevity to 4 seconds. Open producer. Set position Y to 0.3, radius X and Y 2.5. Then open physics, set velocity to 0.2, gravity to minus 0.05. Then open the particle section, set particle type to a faded sphere, birth size 0.1, death size 0.3, size variation 100%, max opacity 100%. Now for the colors, you're free to choose your own colors, but I'm going for something that would suit this scene. So like a silver slash gray colors would be okay. Then simply select the particle layer on the timeline, press T, and set opacity to 75%. And at this point, our logo animation is complete and ready to go. We can go ahead and preview this. As you can see, pretty clean and sleek logo animation. I hope you enjoyed this one and learned something new in this tutorial. If you did, do not forget to leave a like. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.